Been a pleasure, but I've got stuff to take care of. Exceedingly nice to meet you. Please come again. Well, can I expect any more lessons in future? Mmm, here we go. Hey everyone, you may notice that we're back at Rose of our Atra's house again. So last video, I ended off with falling off the cliff. And that was where I stopped playing too, I didn't really play ahead. And I found out that it seems like there might be a bug here where a another quest was supposed to trigger as soon as we finished off with Rosa here. But it didn't because she beat me the first time around. Since I would really love to see more content than not and I didn't play ahead yet, I figured I would just go back and see if I could get it working, which it seems to have worked, so that's great. Awfully convincing, miss. Wonder where you learned it. Name the time and place. House here, tomorrow. Same time as today. See you then. See you, Master Witcher. <laughs> Sister's like, oh my god. Um, you know, I was genuinely talking about swordplay lessons the whole time, right? But here, it didn't quite seem that way. Hmm, I guess we'll see. Yeah, we're ready to leave this time. Broken Flowers has been updated. Ah, there we go. See, that's what we were missing last time. We didn't get this fencing lesson quest. Okay, well, we're still gonna talk to Marabella first because we gotta finish that up. Okay, Swix. Yeah, she doesn't really care about me. <laughs> the twin sister is totally judging us, though. That's kind of funny. Okay, well, I think we can just get out of here. And this time, we have the added benefit of not being down a cliff. <laughs> it's morning time now, too. Okay, perfect, perfect. We don't have to find a way to climb back up. And we can just go straight to where Marabella should be. Pretty close by. Pretty close by. Can we get out this way? Bloody uh. bum. <laughs> oh. Oh, yes, I want this. I want this herb again. And I'm guessing we can just <laughs> very graciously roll out here. That's right. Passiflora. I think we're in the what rich people district here. Look around the streets, it's very clear that there's no homeless people and the streets are clean, there's no litter, no bandits, no horse and juniors people. But kitties that hate me nonetheless. That's kind of sad. <laughs> very clean though. Everything is very clean. What's he doing here? But uh, I do remember that Marabella's school is in the bits, which I feel like is not as rich of a district. And again, we can't just fall down here, can we? No. Mm, what's the quickest way for us to get there, actually? Down here? Oh, of course. Stairs. How reasonable. Gildorf. Okay, not quite the bits, but I think it's probably right next door. Yeah, look, right here. Just look at the ground. It's all muddy and stuff. But up there, it was nice pavement. The school's right here. Good. Now started this war. Nilfgaard, of course. They's the ones yeah. violated the border first. That's not it at all. It was the non-humans. It's Imperial soldiers sitting across the Pontar in black plate, not dryads. And who yeah. forged that no. name? Oh fuck, Smiths. don't rightly know. Everyone's trying to talk. Dwarven bankers like I think we should focus on the lesson here. The summit at Loch Moy. A sorceress. Excuse me, I'm looking for Marabella. I am she. Wait outside, class is in session. Um, okay. I'll wait. It won't take long. It turns out he'll not come My after My uncle's all. in the circus. Why not? Because he can a swallow rat souls. bit him, can you? and he's caught a fever. Where'd he get bit? It hurt him much. Will he die? You don't die from rats, stupid. Yes, you do. Just the other day, I saw a witch hunter tell a man, you rat, and then he killed him. <laughs> Liar. That's enough. We're done for the day. Gather your things and go home. Wonder if the rat catcher will get well. Like as not. How do you know? Mum says that if he but catches a cough, he's as good as in the grave. And this one's got a fever. My mummy says hello. Hi. Say hi to your mum too. <laughs> that sounds like an Xbox insult. 
Wow, they have class 4 a.m. in the morning. The last wish. Uh, we should probably not steal from the school supplies. Yeah. Yeah, no fees. She's a very generous woman, isn't she? Genuinely enjoys teaching, I suppose. Ooh, ballads. Do you mind if I read that later on? Yeah. Hello. Now can we talk? Yes. What do you want? I know you saw Dandelion recently. Oh, yes. Longest afternoon of my life. He read you his poems? No. He perused the illustrated guide to fungi. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe... No. Won't even try to guess why he wanted to do that. Mold. That was his interest. When his hand abandoned my knee to point at a figure of penicillium, I knew the fire between us had died. Permanently. How? The fire and Dandelion dying? Found a poem Dandelion wrote about you. Portrayed you as an unusually talented individual. Really? Did he mention my poetry? Horses have always fascinated me. I've always longed to extol their noble beauty. Did you see any of my work at Dandelions? Mere exercise is true, but I'd be curious to know what you thought of them. Uh, no, no. Didn't see any. Gee up! Her snakely whip rose skyward. Gee haw! Crack! She reined the beast in. The stallion danced betwixt her thighs. The oh. lather bathed its chinny chin chin. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> don't know much about poetry. You're speaking to the wrong person here, man. Geralt is not stupid, but I don't think he's into poetry. Well, everyone's got their own likes and dislikes. She just happens to like horses. See Dandelion after the fungus incident? No. I even considered granting him another chance. His heart of hearts is pure gold. He simply needs a bit more discipline in his life. But he never came back to see me. So I thought if it's done... It's done. Yeah, that seems like a healthy attitude. You don't you can't get too attached to someone like Dandelion. He's just too undisciplined. I guess that's a good word. Thanks for your help. Farewell. So she doesn't know anything. Hmm. Do you have any horse poetry you'd like to share? Hmm? I guess not. I'll read your ballads. Winter. The first sense of autumn can be smelt. The sense of words is gone in a blink. No change is in view. It is what they felt. Tears of diamond on your lashes sink. Your home all surrounded by snow. Glassy frost covers rivers and lakes. That's the way it must be. Please don't show. This yearning and grief on your face. When the spring comes along with the rain, the sun will warm us up both. That's the way it must be, for we burn with fire eternal like hope. Oh. Very nice. It said ballads, but there was only one. What shall become of Temeria? Yeah, I don't want to steal your teaching supplies, so... If I haven't read it before, I'm not gonna... Or uh, if I have read it before, I'm not gonna take it. I will take your broken rakes, though. <laughs> Emerald dust. Oh, wow, she's got like a classroom here. Very nice, very nice. Ballads and hymns. Yeah, I'm glad that even though we're in the poor district, someone's looking out for the, the children and making sure that they're educated. It's being educated. Why is there alcohol in the classroom? Oh my god. But being educated is the, the, the way to get out of your poverty, I guess. So it's very important. Oh, you see kids playing outside. Diary of a Fire Swallower. Oh, I remember reading that. That was the, the person from Loch Muin, right? Another one. Well, having multiple copies of the same book in a classroom, that makes more sense. That's okay. But why do you have alcohol? How many copies of this does she have? <laughs> well, thank you very much for your help. Although, out of all the women, I think you had the least to offer in terms of clues. You're grey like my grandmum. Uh, do you yeah. Know how to disembowel a man? No, who would ever do something like that? Pupils. That's nice. It's nice. Nice position, too. It's right next to the rich district. My dad doesn't like elves very much. Are you an elf? How do you feel about elves? 
uh, the school being near the rich district. I don't know. I'm hoping maybe some rich people will come down the stairs and be like, Hey, children, education, let me donate a few bucks to the cause. Tell her. The Nowhere. We have not been in the Nowhere before, have we? The Nowhere Inn. Oh, which way we go? What's going on about the eternal fire working miracles? Miracles, my ass. My son's dead, you understand? Died in a pox. <laughs> Quiet, or someone will hear you. And we'll both be in for it. For what? My son's dead, don't you see? And I pray till my knees bled. <laughs> oh. I was wondering why people would get them for it, but I guess maybe the Eternal Fire people will be offended. Like he's saying, oh, Are you saying our god does not work miracles? The school is directly across from the inn with a lot of drunkards. Maybe that's not such a good thing, huh? So, when the bloke comes round a corner, we do the wounded man bit. But who's gonna do the lie down? I did the mummy last time. Your best at it. Looks sick already. Show you how plowing sick I am. Shut it. Someone's coming. Huh? Bandits planning of their next move. Well, well. <sighs> can't arrest people well. for conspiring, I guess. Is that supposed to be the shield of the eternal fire? The folk in this city. Racial hygiene's as poor as their personal hygiene. Hmm. <laughs> I wonder what that says on the, um, the wall. It's just a nice, nice little inn. Maybe not even that nice. You're an artist? A sword swallower? No, a witcher. Mm, never heard of that. Mm, well, that's okay. That's okay. What did the cook make today? Bunch of food. Eh, I'm okay. Thanks, though. Ooh, who should I sell saddles to? You can buy it for 91 crowns. I guess I'll keep it a little more and maybe see if someone else would be willing to buy it. Okay. You wanna play Gwent? All in. In the mood for some diversion. A game of Gwent would be best. We got a hero card. Yes, Vernon Roach. Yeah, finally, our second hero card. That means now I can take away one more number here, right? One more, like, random number. Sheila, maybe? Yeah, we have Sheila, Vess, and Kira. Range, range, sword, melee? Uh, I guess I'll take away Sheila. Sure. And, um, I think we also got Eridan, but uh, he's probably part of the monster deck, right? Eridan? No? Uh, did we not get Eridan? I thought we did. Oh well, I mean, yeah, the point is- Oh! Oh, it's a leader card, isn't it? Yeah, it's right here in the middle, I think. Pick any weather card from your deck and play it instantly. Wow, Aridin's more powerful than Boltist. Okay, well, anyway, we're still using the Northern Realms deck today, of course. They have a Nilfgaardian deck. Decoy, Decoy, Blue Stripe, Zoltan, Krinfrid, Medic, Deathmold, Ballista, Yennefer, Vernon. Great! Great. Vernon on our first battle that we have him. Ver uh, Zoltan? Commander's Horn. Cool. Ooh, do I want to try giving up Death Mold? I do like that we have two decoys. But yeah, we don't have very many numbers, do we? No, we have a good bit of numbers. Yeah. Okay, well, Ballista... Not a bad trade because now we can we can use Commander's Horn on it. A bit unfortunate that we don't have any of the um, yeah the pairing up ones. I don't want to use Vernon because I can't decoy him back, right? So I guess I would want to use a Ballista. I don't have any spies. What's your card again? Young emissary. If he has spies, I could take his spies. Torrential Rain, okay. Torrential Rain is the one for Siege, right? I gotta be careful. We can just decoy this back later. I think I'll decoy one of them back, because then the other ones... Actually, do I need to even decoy... Mm, 
Because I have two medics. I do. Yeah, we could just leave it like this. Um. Yeah. Okay. I'm hoping he has some spies that I can decoy later on. That's fine. That is fine. He hasn't used it yet, though. I don't know if the AI uses spies on the first round. Okay, now we have to win this round. Which means... Hmm... Medic? Bring back a trebuchet? Are we good enough? Yeah, not sure why, but I thought they would pass. It's kind of weird. Oh, I probably should have decoyed someone back, huh? Mmm, I, I forgot to use my decoy cards, but I think we'll be okay. Yeah, I feel like we'll be okay. Yennefer? Yeah, I don't think they have any spy cards either. And then trebuchet... Okay, if I had decoyed the medic back, I would be able to get both trebuchet things back. But that's okay. Burnin'? Yeah, this person's cards are really crappy. And I guess that's the way it should be, because they're just a random innkeeper. Not anything crazy. So it's totally okay that our cards aren't too good either. That's fine. Use up all your cards. Commander's horn on this row. We good? Torrential rain. Mm, well, I'm not gonna use decoy, of course, but I'll clear weather. They still have one card. A little bit curious about it. Okay. Maybe they have a decoy card as well. <laughs> okay. That was a quick round. Not anything too exciting, I guess. Thank you for the money. Do you have any cards for me? Ericus Behemoth. Not bad, but I don't have any Ericuses, do I? And it's not for, um... Yeah. It's not for the Northern Realms deck. Okay, well, now that we got that dealt with, I think it's probably time to just go back to Zoltan, maybe? Or, there is a Gwent guy right here. Zoltan... Zoltan... Oh, yes. The Nobleman Statuette. Zoltan is... Which one is it? Oh, yeah, it's all the way down there. Okay, well... You know what, in that case, let's go to the Gwent right here first. Is this person in a rich district? Oh, there's another in here. Okay. Ooh. There's still a lot about the city that we haven't seen properly yet because it's so damn big. What is this? They say another corpse is turned but up. But of course. Eyes in its head, no yes. heart oh. in its breast. What is what it? What beast kills that way? Only man's capable of that kind of cruelty. Patience. Oh, did I stumble in a hospital? I feel like that might be the case. Quarantine patients for the plague? Maybe? Necromancy, the forbidden magic. The book looks fancy. It is commonly said that magic is neither good nor evil, that it transcends the moral criteria of men, that it depends on the mage, whether it'll be used for worthy goals or for shameful and immoral deeds. There is, however, one key exception to this principle, necromancy. AKA Death Mold's favorite magic, right? Proponents of this branch of magic once supposed that one can also do good by reviving corpses. Dead men can, after all, hide secrets which may save the living. It is better to send an army of reanimated corpses into battle than to squander the life of those in whose veins hot blood still flows. Moreover, a revived soldier may be reused many times until such members are chopped off so as to make his flesh unusable. Though it is hard to refute the logic of these arguments, the practice of necromancy is still forbidden. This is not at all based on the rabble's superstitions about the living dead, 
nor the resistance of the powerful, afraid those they have murdered could be forced to confess against them, nor the moral scruples of the older members of the conclave, who were, in fact, laughed down as reactionaries when it was discussed. The fate of necromancy was sealed by the observation of Hen Gedimdaif, which was later confirmed by manifold experiences proving the revived dead are always unpredictable, and reviving them always involves entirely negative side effects. In other words, no matter how noble a mage's motives might be, necromancy will always lead to evil. It seems that in this way, the gods let us know that we should not transgress the laws they have given us, and even the conclave must respect the will of the gods. Hmm. I'm not sure what stage of like research necromancy is at though. Like when we bring back a corpse, I'm guessing they the corpse just get reanimated, right? But the person, the soul, is still gone. So there's a lot of ethical concerns here because like, would you like your father or your daughter to be revived like that? To be a shell of their former self? Beliefs of Skellige Druids. The disciples of the Isle's local pantheon are not the sole spiritual devotees in Skellige, for some druids also call the archipelago home. Yet this is no cause for conflict, for Freya's adherents and the druid circle coexist and treat each other with great respect. What welds these two faiths together? A common worship of the divinity found in the earth, fertility, love and birth. To the druids, men form a part of nature and should treat the world around them with utmost respect. They hold that since nature gave life her most precious gift, to humans and to other civilized races, they should live in harmony with her, yielding their will to hers. Druids are seen as wise men, and priests are held in high esteem by society. They act as spiritual guides, herbalists, and alchemists. Skellig Skelligers seek their counsel in times of trouble, summon them when ill, and ask them to settle thorny conflicts. Like their continental brethren, the druids of Skellige have a circle, an area set aside in their holy grove, where they assemble, meditate, and study sacred tomes. Many druids are capable of wielding magic. So if these druids were in Novigrad, they'd probably be burned at the stake too, right? Magic? If you were an ordinary man, I'd diagnose anemia. But you oh. are far from ordinary. You're a witcher. Very well aware. Look at the medic. They've got a mask going on. Yeah, it's definitely something... Ooh. It's a good thing I'm immune, huh? Well, what about you? Do you have a mask on? Stitch I can't red tell. To red, yellow to yellow, and white to white. Yeah, that was a quote from the book. Red to red, yellow to yellow, white to white. Mm, lots of unwell people here. And bloody rags just hanging off. Random places. Okay. Hospital. The person downstairs had a name. So I feel like we might come back here later on. Oh, sorry. Am I just taking your stuff? Yeah. Why must you pester me? Breathe. Help. Oh dear. Maybe we should get out of here so we're not disturbing the, the medics. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Hospital. A lot of places in the... I'm sorry, where's the door? <laughs> a lot of places in the poor district are just all compacted together. The inn, the school, and the, um, the hospital. Well, it's, it's not necessarily a bad thing that it's compacted together, I guess, because things are convenient. It's easy to find where things are. But at the same time, if, you know, the hospital's here... And the school's right next to it. Diseases seem like, I am so sorry. They would spread very easily. Ooh. Mutant. You won't let me come down here, would you? Vilmarius Hospital. Looking for a rise. Okay, well. Tis a dog's life. If I want to get to the Gwent person, there is also a Gwent tournament in the same place, but we're not going to do the tournament. No. I just want to play that person so I can get the oh. card. I've had enough of living. Oh, you know what? I gotta eventually go back to Vizima for that one person as well. That I keep saying I'll go back, but I keep putting it off. Hopefully I can beat this person though. But I was able to- I thought someone was gonna attack me because my health bar showed up. Vimma Vivaldi was not too hard, so I think this will be okay if we can do it properly. Ooh! 
What is this? Whoa. Oh, we saw another end of the sewers that was locked. I wonder if this goes to that place? Where do the sewers go in general? I think the people guarding it were Horasun's people, Horasun Jr.'s people, so this might be some Horasun place, huh? You guys want to use the torches? They're there for a reason. Can I not turn it on? Well, that didn't work. <laughs> oh. Oh. That is locked. I can't get out. Okay. I thought I could push it from below, but nope. Whoa! Oh, shit. Whoa! Whoa! There were three! Hold up. I'm not- I wasn't expecting a fight in here. Although I should have been. Oh, the fire barely did anything. Not good. No, not at all. They're level 11. These are probably the strongest drowners that we've come across. Because they're drowned dead. They're not actually drowners. Oh my god. It's not much here though. It's kind of dirty. People who died in the sewers. Oh, I feel like maybe... Oh Someone my lord. An illusion here. An illusion? We'll worry about the illusion in a bit, okay? Not right now. I'm getting owned. This hag is level 12, so very similar to my level. Oh yeah, okay, this is looking really not good. Ow! Oh my lord. Okay, I can't, um... Gotta get rid of the hag. Cause otherwise... Okay. At least we got that dealt with. Next step. Stay alive. I don't... Oh my god. It's like I forgot how to fight because we've been playing Gwent for so long. <laughs> Look at my toxicity. My god. I think we need to meditate a little bit, but I'm also a little bit wary about meditating, you know, in a freaking wherever this place is. Maybe we'll we'll stand here and meditate a little bit. One hour, eight minutes. Okay, we're good. Eight minutes is okay. A little bit worried. They said somebody placed an illusion here. Not they, I mean, like, Geralt said that. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Who would want to hide in the sewers? Maybe a sorceress? Oh. Weirdly enough, nothing that we can really use here. Maybe it's for a quest. Oh. Okay, that's fine. When we actually need it, we can come back here. And we'll know exactly where this is. Oh. No. Please don't tell- This is the place I fell off of last time! Wow, what a- What a weird coincidence. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Oh my Wings god. Howling. Love letter. Interesting. My darling Rosa. Rosa? From the first moment I set eyes upon you, that fateful evening at the Vegel Buds, the racetrack, my heart has only beaten for you. I can't eat or sleep. My master threatens to terminate my apprenticeship. And I don't even know if you remember me. Albert Vegelbird introduced us near the roasted cape and table. I happened to be eating one when I saw you. It stuck in my throat and I started to choke and you laughed. Oh, how sweetly, how brightly you laughed. That marvelous sound still fills my ears to this day, and I live in the hope that I will be given a chance to hear it once more. I beg you, meet with me, even if just for a moment, just for a second. I will wait by the well in Gildorf every day at dusk. If you care for the life of a poor lad fallen hopelessly in love with you, 
take pity and come. Do not torture me with eternal waiting. Your truly devoted admirer, Gilbert Blith. You said you would wait by the well. How come you're here? Oh no. Did someone kill you? That's kind of brutal to think about. Oh no. Do I want to go down here? I'm just wondering, is there anything worth looking at here? Oh. Well, I'm not really surprised that everybody... Well, not everybody, but this this man likes Rosa. Because, you know, she's pretty and she's strong and most of all, she's rich. Who wouldn't like her? Passiflora. Oh, where did I... I ended up back in the rich people district. <laughs> right by the Gwent person. Oh, I need a rest. Wow, that's perfect. Whoa, we've never been here before, Why have we? Googly eyes. Got a case of the bloat. No one's looking at you, okay? This courtesan is trying to trying to make a living here. Ooh. Uh, would the Gwent person be here? Is this an inn or what am I looking at here? I don't know. Whoa. It's a material world, and I'm a material girl. <laughs> to think a whole garrison will be stationed here in the free city of Novigrad. Yes, yes, definitely, of course. Mm. You expect me to believe that? Look, male prostitutes! So male prostitutes are like rich people things? Why? Are there no poor men who want to be- Okay, you know what? Let's not go down that conversation. <laughs> Marquis Serenity. White Wolf. Welcome to the Passive Flora. Oh, no sign of recognition in your eyes. Greetings. Uh... Don't fret. I'm sure I look quite different from when we last saw each other. Uh, which was? Oh, eons ago. You and Master Dandelion appeared, two halflings in tow. What a smash they were, the little chaps. We recount that night to this day. So the, uh, staff hasn't changed since then? Oh, of course it has. It does so incessantly in this business. Burley Berthy married a merchant. Ella struck out on her own. And you'll likely find Cerise praying at the temple. I alone remain. So, shall I summon the girls? Just remember, this is a decent establishment. Pause to yourself to start with. And our girls are well-mannered. The range of subjects they discuss in detail, I myself find it daunting. Uh, it's not what I'm here for today. Thank you, though. What do you have for sale? Actually, I'd just like to buy something. Went cards, of course. Buy cards from your opponents before you beat them up. Catapult! Okay, that's something we have to add to our deck. Because we can get the, the pairing effects. Yeah, 91? Okay, fine. Have it. Ooh, very nice, very nice. Okay, do you want my plates and stuff? Yeah, dolls. Cool. Would you like to play Gwent? You... You are a formidable opponent, right? Yeah, let's, let's talk about Gwent first. I'm curious. You play Gwent? Certainly. Though for high stakes exclusively, of course. In fact, the game would be exceedingly boring without the risk. Okay. Up for a round? Why, yes. Let's play. We didn't even do a betting session. What? Because <laughs> you're going to give me a really good card, right? Catapult. Okay, catapult in. What out? Uh, Kira out? Because catapult, Kira are both... No, catapult is siege. Whatever, just take Kira out. No sorceresses in my deck. Except Yennefer. <laughs> okay. You good? Nilfgaardian Empire. Decoy, decoy, biting frost. Commander's horn, spy, crinfrid, trebuchet, trebuchet, ballista, catapult. Not quite the deck I was looking to hope to draw. No. Uh, they have a Nilfgaardian Empire. I don't think biting frost is really that crucial. Is it? I'm not sure. Decoy might be a good one to take advantage of what cards she has. 
Oh, okay, that's really not what we're looking for here. We need some actual numbers and stuff. Uh, we don't have any hero cards, nor medics. I want another catapult. That's really what I want. Should I take away Krenfred? Um, well, the trebuchets don't stack. I'll take a gamble on the trebuchet. Ah, Zoltan. Bad draw. We have a bad draw today. Torrential rain. Okay, that's... That's not a worry because we have clear weather. Okay. Go nuts! She's gonna decoy it, I bet. Okay. Yeah. Why don't you give it back to me right now? Why not? Okay, we have two catapults. That's not bad. Not bad. Um... Should I play a catapult right now? I can decoy it back. Yeah, but I have a feeling she probably has more spy cards, so I'm just gonna maybe play it safe here. Because obviously I do want to keep my catapults together. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Not good. Not good. Okay, well... What we can do is... Would you like to... If I just decoy this back... Are you gonna give up and pass? No. I was hoping she would, but um... Mm. Okay, I'll pass. Why is she... Oh! Now I can't decoy back. Interesting. Interesting play. And I don't have any medics. I can't bring it back, unfortunately. But I'm sure she'll play Stennis sometime, so... Not to fret. Not to fret. Uh, do we want to play all of our catapult cards right off the bat? Maybe not. We do have two commander's horns. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't have played that. No, I think I made a misplay here. Okay, now you're gonna, like, bait me into passing? Is that what you're doing? Yeah, that's a bit difficult, isn't it? Do you want to give me Stennis? Wow. You did not use your ability, did you? Hmm, maybe I want to save the ability then, because I know that she's got Torrential Rain, and that's gonna be really bad for my trebuchets and stuff. This is kind of a tough spot for me, because I don't know what she wants to do. Not at all. Grinfred? Stennis. Thank you. That's what I've been looking for. Okay. She decoyed it, but she put it back. These are some next level moves, huh? There's my Crinfred. Okay, now I feel a little bit better about our win this time. Ooh, what's that? Brings back a medic? Oh, it's a medic. Okay. Now I can put down Crinfred. I have a uh, I have Yennefer now. Okay. Maybe we can win this time. Yennefer, I am going to put her down right now, so that we can take advantage of Commander's Horn, maybe? And I can bring back... I can bring back the Spy for Melee. Not bad, because it'll only give her one, right? Yeah, Yennefer... Mm -hmm. Shilar Fitz Esterlin. A Spy for me, again! Oh, that's a curveball. I feel like we'll be okay though, because I can use a commander's horn now, save up all these catapult thingies for the next turn. Hopefully that's gonna work out. I think we'll be fine, because she only has four cards, but she might be able to decoy Stennis back. No. Do I want to give her Sigismund Dijkstra right now? 56, 30? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I can even put down blue stripes right now. 
No, nope, she's really going all in. We have too many cards. She can't win. Hopefully. Dandelion. That is a commander's horn. Are you kidding me? 69, 68. Okay, that's not bad because she only has one card left, no matter what she does. Even if she wins this round, it's not gonna work out. Wow. Interesting. Interesting. But, I do have clear weather. She still hasn't used her leader ability yet, right? Was that her leader ability? I don't know. Because the card will come up when she's using it, right? I don't think I saw it come up just yet. Okay, now I pass. And I win. Yeah? I don't think I played optimally this time, but it turned out okay. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, cool. I failed to understand how I lost that. Oh, I believe this card belongs to you now. Know any other players willing to stake rare cards? In Novigrad, Siggy Reuven's collection is famous. You really should challenge him. Siggy Reuven, huh? Okay, well, thank you so much. Mmm, I think we have to come back here later for another Gwent tournament, right? So maybe I'll explore this place in depth when that happens. There's a lot going on here, though. <laughs> Not sure if I wanna... Do I wanna take a look at the girls and whatever? Francesca Findebear. Not quite what we need for our Northern Realms deck. That and so pretty, but he can't keep his hands off himself. Is he unhappy with the coin? Nice to see you. Tomorrow I intend to Aren't you too old to be out of Valdi's bank? Why is that usurer pays lower and lower I wonder if this room is for me. Soaring inflation is I can steal the stuff right now. Oh wow. Stunning view. This is a high class joint. Does it have a name? I think I might have missed the name if it did. She's left herself nothing. Gave every last couple of tours. City of Nimrod. Yes, oh, yes, just uh, conversing with the barmaid. You, you can afford to come that? here. Hello. Fancy a hop back to my place? Mm. This is your place. I feel quite fake today. Oh, when we come out here. Oh, it's it's a more discreet room. Okay, that's cool. Okay, maybe we'll ask the madame about the girls. <laughs> this is the first actual brothel we've seen oh, so far. Oh no. Dance. <laughs> Could it be that all roads lead to the passive flora? Welcome back. The passive flora? Hmm. When I look at you, why? I almost regret I'm no longer an active duty. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> I'd love to meet the rising generation of Passiflora buds. To hire a girl, talk to her. Uh, we can talk to her? Oh. Could it be that all roads <laughs> lead to the Passiflora? I thought we could hire her. Hmm. Okay, no. Take care now. I can talk to the ladies, right? Hmm. No? Oh, that Did that really offer expire already? <sighs> Maybe. I didn't even let you take a goat. Oh. I'm sorry, but I don't believe it. There was a viola here. Greetings to the honourable gentleman. Welcome. Make yourself at home. What have you come for? We're prepared to fulfil your every whim. Oh, I think it only. Oh my God, forty crowns. Only the the women that have names, right? The ones that we can talk to. The passiflora certainly deserves its reputation. We do all to please our patrons and make sure to turn the rabble away. Okay, well, uh, I'm not picky. <laughs> I like you. Like how you look, like how you smell. If that's so, let's discuss what might happen next. She's all mysterious with her mask and all, too. <laughs> whoa, whoa. But you're not gonna take the mask off? 
Is that part of the allure? Okay. Oh my goodness. Back rub. <laughs> Time's up. Money. Gotta pay up. I feel kind of robbed after that experience. <laughs> How come I don't feel very happy about that? Damn it, I don't know. Huh. Oh, so if you look on the map, there are some hearts on the map now. I'd say so. Interesting. Maybe we'll come back some other time. That's gonna be a lot of editing later on, so I don't really want to stay here for that long. <laughs> Could it be that all roads lead? Hmm. I'm interested though, who would you recommend? Any girl in particular you'd recommend? You'd like Narcissa? Perhaps not the prettiest, but she's by far the most inventive. And as my dearly departed mother would say, the fun's not in the face. Oh, okay. Maybe we'll... We'll uh, speak to her later Take on. Care now. Where is she anyway? You take a goat. They let I'm sorry, rabble. but I don't believe it. Folk are afraid to leave their homes. Scribe! Oh, hello. Sure. Yes. Oh, the Gwen tournament. No, no, no. So long. Not at all. Visit. Okay. Hello. There's actually not that many women with names here. Most of them are just random oh, really courtesans and stuff. Pleasure to see you again. Likewise. Pleasure for you. Any special wishes? No, no, no. You cost too much. Nice meeting you. Okay, it was nice to have a little bit of a spin You're here. offense to the majesty of the eternal fire. I'm sure that won't be the last time we go here. Okay, cool. <laughs> we got a little bit more than I was expecting by doing the Gwent. We should probably go back to Zoltan now for real though, huh? Along the way, can we talk to Triss about the statuette? Can we go to the marketplace during the day and talk to Sylvester Amello? Yeah? Yeah? Triss! Triss! We haven't talked to her in a while. Might as well go. They've burnt another at the stake. And whosoever it's dreadful. contributes coin to the cause, his this, sin shall be forgiven. Only unwavering faith in, in the power her, of this alas. flame can bring us victory. I'll contribute. Remember, good Sonic. folk. Take One doubter can do friends. more evil than a thousand believers can do good. Ears open. It would be an invaluable appeal. experience. For they won't let me contribute. Gratis oh. There's a lot of. Oh, oh during daytime. Yeah, she's bustling here. She's bustling with activity here. Oh. So noisy. Why'd you give your food to that beggar? Because he was hungry. He wouldn't be hungry were he to find paid work. But he said the temple guard interrogated him, put out his eyes. Yeah, that's what he said. Were he innocent, they would not have interrogated him. And I don't wish to see you talking to Riff Raff anymore. Well, uh, I don't know about that. You think people want to be poor? I don't think so. Nice and quiet here, again. Awful pale you are. The bits. Of course, we're back in the bits. Oh, fuck. If we want to talk to Triss, then we have to go back to the King of Beggars, that place? <laughs> Help! Help! What happened, kid? <laughs> they... They... <laughs> hmm? Hey, wait. What's up? The Grey Git! Oh. Grab him. <sighs> How disappointing. They're a little high level. Uh, 
Oh! Did the kid die? I wonder. I'm almost dead. Oh, innocent Geralt. Oh, people are still very scared, understandably. Innocent, innocent Geralt. Did not suspect the kid at all. What a shame. Did he run away? Although he is, girls can't seem to look away. Me? Thank you. Nothing new. Well, I mean, just like what I said 30 seconds ago, right? It's not like they want to be poor, so maybe... Maybe they, they're just doing this under their own circumstances. It's not like they want to do it. Triss? Oh, this is not the King of Beggars, is it? Yes. Who are you here for? Triss. Told her from the start. No men, no pets. Tis a decent house for decent folk. Don't worry, won't stay long. Oh, what is this place? Landlord? Do they know they're housing a sorceress here? Hmm? Because I thought she would be at the King of Beggars. Wait, the house is crooked! <laughs> oh my god. Bit of a downgrade from her previous house, that's for sure. There's multiple floors! Three floors? Dang, these rich landlords. It's like, um, an apartment. Hey, Triss. Been a while. What have you been doing? Oh, <laughs> why do you have a copy of The Last Wish? Yes, Geralt? Been in Novigrad long? Long enough to know how not to get caught and survive. And before you came here, where were you? Oh, places where I managed to get by without your help, too. Which doesn't mean I'm not happy to see you. Okay, I'm glad you clarified, because I thought you were being all passive-aggressive. <laughs> see, you kept the Rose of Remembrance I gave you in Flotsam. Seems so long ago. Probably because so much has changed. So, sentimental value. That why you kept it? Partly. Though, more as a warning. Oh. Interesting. Okay. Could you help me out? Look what I picked up. Artifact compression. Someone got themselves enchanted in this figurine. Oh! Intend to decompress? Of course. Whoever cast the spell on the poor soul must have forgotten about him. Could you... could you do it? Looks like a nobleman. Could be just that. Come with me. I can't perform the ritual here. Oh my god. How long has a poor guy been in there? This is the statue that we got from the shop. Everything's ready. Let's get to work. The shop selling the, um, the sorcerer stuff? Place is pretty grim. True. It looks like a vampire's hideout. Which is why we can be pretty sure no one will bother us here. Give me the figurine and stand back. Let's try it. Think it's a nobleman. Be on your guard. It could be something far more dangerous. In Alan Dwana are ice. No! Coral! No! I I can explain everything! Coral? Coral? I never looked at the lass. You are my one and only. Oh, oh, you're not Coral. Some succubus. A uh, delusion. Where, where, where am I? Coral is a sorceress from the Season of Storms. Her real name is Lita Nade, and she's a redhead. And that's where in the books you find out that canonically, Geralt has a thing for redheads. So Coral enchanted him, just like her. If there's a more vindictive sorceress, I don't know her. Well, except maybe... Coral's not here. 
In that case, come to me, succubus. Wow. <laughs> Tress's face. What is your name? Hmm? We're in Novigrad. Novigrad. In Novigrad? Last I recall, I was in Oxenfurt, and Coral was furious. How can she demand fidelity when she herself is wanton as... as... As youthful goats. Exactly. Damn it! I feel as if I've been trampled by a herd of cattle. I've no notion what she did to me. But it seems you've delivered me from my misfortune. Here, take this. Have a good time. Paint the town coral. Whose taste has grown worse since you were sleeping with her. Come on, the kind-hearted gentleman will get along fine on his own. Coral? Yeah, I don't think... Will we be seeing her? She... Is she dead already? I don't know, because the season of storms was um was a prequel sort of thing. What did you give me just now? I wasn't looking. Did you give me anything? Uh... Yeah, we bought a whole bunch of other items from that same shop as well. Hmm. Lizard figurine? Wonder if we can do anything with that. Squirrel tail? Is that for the square tail? Hmm. I have no idea what he gave me. I I looked away for a second. Oh well. Yeah, Coral. Triss said that she's vindictive because she's really not quite nice of a person. I forgot the finer details of it now, but there was a segment where Geralt went to her house and she was trying so hard to seduce him. But for whatever reason, Geralt was not interested in her. He was actually, but he... I forgot why, but he didn't want to sleep with her. He was focusing on her assistant My instead. And the next time Geralt saw the assistant girl, he found out that her hands were broken because Coral got so angry that Geralt was nice to her. She didn't do anything. Her crime was that Geralt was nice to her. So yeah, not quite a nice person. Okay, well, there's not too much. Where the heck are we? Where did Triss take us? God! 